Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Here we have a model of the moon. Uh, we can see the sun behind it. Okay, and uh, at the moment we're in the phase of the moon called the new moon. The side of the uh, moon that we're looking at has none of it lit up by the sun. As the moon begins to revolve around the earth, we can see right over here that we're beginning to get a, uh, a crescent shape. The, the part of the moon that we can see, which is lit, is shaped like a crescent, kind of like a croissant, and that's getting bigger and bigger. The word we use to uh, say the, the lit part is getting bigger is waxing. So that we just went through the waxing crescent phase. We're now at what we call first quarter. You can see half the moon is lit up and half of it is in shadow. And as we continue to move, we get what's called the a gibbous shape. You can see that there's a, a dark crescent, which so the revealed part is more than a semicircle, but not a full circle. It's called a gibbous. It's still getting bigger, and so we call it a waxing gibbous. As we get over uh, here opposite uh, the sun, then we get the full moon, unless of course we come down here and we get a lunar eclipse, where you'll notice that the moon has moved into the shadow of the earth the earth being uh, my head, okay? Uh, so, but up here when it's not in the shadow of the earth, we see the full moon, the entire side that we're looking at is lit up. That was a partial lunar eclipse there. And then as we continue to move, we see that the lit part is getting smaller. We're beginning to see some of the dark, dark side on the right there as we continue to rotate around here. Uh, once again, the lit part is a gibbous shape, but now it's getting smaller. The word we use to refer to getting smaller is waning. So it's a waning gibbous because that lit part is getting smaller and smaller. As we get over here, we get to the point where we get to the last quarter. And you can see right here uh, that the uh, right side of the moon as we're looking at it is in shadow. So we can't really see that when we're looking at the moon itself. And the, the left side is all lit up. And so that's a last quarter moon. And so now as we're getting less than a semicircle, we start seeing the crescent again. And that crescent gets smaller and smaller as we go uh, back towards new moon. And that's so that because the, the lit part is getting smaller, we call it waning. So a waning crescent. And eventually we get back to new moon. In this case, we've actually got an example of a solar eclipse because the sun has disappeared behind the moon. We could have a, a partial solar eclipse, okay? Or uh, most of the time we don't get a solar eclipse at all and it passes like that and we just see the new moon. So this has been the phases of the moon on the scientific adventures of Beard Man.